Welcome to part four of our rocket animation. In part four, we're going to be animating the rocket, setting the keyframes for that, and we're going to be adding particles to the rocket so it looks like there's fire coming out of the engine. Just to review, in part three, what we did was we created the clouds, and if you'll pl press F12, that'll render out uh, whatever you have in your camera view. And as you can see, it's still we animated the clouds and we'll see them when we actually convert our project into a video so if you don't see them moving don't worry about that okay so let's get started with part four um, what first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna straighten out this plane so I'm going to basically move where it says ROTX I'm gonna set it at 180 and 180 We'll make it flat just the way we want it. Okay. You want to make sure that you're on frame one and you have your rocket selected. And we're going to set the first keyframe at frame one. So our first step is making sure we're on the right frame. Once we've got that, you're going to press I to insert the keyframe and then select LOC for location. and we'll see that this turned yellow. When this frame turns yellow that means that we have a keyframe there. So we need to go to our next keyframe which is going to be at 50. So type in 50 and press enter. So that's our first step. Then we need to move the rocket. So you're going to hit G and Z. G will grab it. Z will move it up on the Z axis and press 9. So we're going to move it up 9 blender units and then hit enter. And once it's in position, we're going to go to our third step and we're going to hit I and insert the keyframe and select LOC for location. And we'll see that it turned yellow. We'll go to frame 100. We're going to move our rocket, so we'll hit G, Z, and 9 and then enter and then insert the keyframe, press I, and then select location. And we've got a keyframe at 100. And we're going to repeat that for frame 150, 200, and 250. So go to the keyframe, or the frame, frame 150, move the rocket, hit G, Z, and 9, and enter. And then press I, and select LOC. And don't worry, we'll make the plane bigger once we're done animating. So we have our keyframe at 150, so we're going to go to 200. We're going to hit G, Z, and 9, and enter. And then insert the keyframe, select LOC. We have it at 200, and now we're going to go to 250. Go to frame 250, move the rocket by hitting G, Z, 9 and enter and then press I and insert the keyframe. Once we have all that done we can go to frame 1 and we can hit Alt A and we can see the animation that we've created. The rocket is moving up in a nice straight line and when it gets to 250 it'll stop. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. I'm going to go to frame 250 so I know how high it reaches and then I'm going to right click the plane and I'm going to scale the plane. So I'm going to hit S and Z and I'm going to scale the plane up and then I'm going to move it up so that basically it covers where the rocket is. So S and Z will size it on the Z axis and I'm going to hit S and Y as well to size it on the Y. So we'll have a nice big background for our animation. I'm going to go back to frame one. There we go. So after you've animated it, our next thing is to add in our particles to our rocket. So we're going to, I'm going to right click on the rocket. Actually, I want to select the rocket engine. I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom into that. 
And what we're going to do now is set up the particle system for our rocket. So once you have your engine selected, we're going to select uh, the shading, or you can press F5, and then select the materials button, and we're going to click add new. And then we're going to go into texture here, and we're going to add a new texture. So you can go to add new, and then texture type image. We can give our engine a uh, separate texture. So you can go to load, and you can grab one off the 506, or you can just select um, the one that you already have. Either way, give your rocket engine a texture. And then once you have that, let's set up the particle system. So let's go to the object button. We'll hit F7, or go to object, and we're going to click on where it says add new. So we have our object button, particle buttons, and then add new here. We want it to be an emitter. On the amount, we're going to put 5,000. We're going to start it at frame 15. If you guys remember, 30 frames in a second, so about half a second is when our particles are going to start coming out. And then our ending frame is going to be at 250, because that's our last frame. And the life of our particles, they're going to last 100 frames. You're going to select under Emit From, you're going to select Random and Even. And then under Initial Velocity, for Normal, you're going to put it at 0 0.05. And for Random, we're going to put it at 0 0.05. The direction we want it to flow is going to be under global effects here. So under ACCZ, we want it to flow the opposite direction of the blue arrow. So it's going to be negative 0.5. And then some stuff we haven't done before. Under visualization, this is what your particles look like. So we're going to change that to circle. And under render, we're going to click emitter because we want our engine to be shown when the particles are coming out. The last thing we're going to do is change the colors up for our particles because we want it to look like fire, so we're going to make them red. We're going to click under shading here. And if you haven't selected the materials button, you want to do that and click add new. Okay, and then under color here, we're going to move this where it says red or R to 1, and we're going to move green to 0 and blue to 0. So we'll have a um, nice red color for our particles. Under halo size, we've got to click the shaders tab here. And actually, I believe this is, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay, under alpha here, we want to move this to 0 0.8. and we want to select halo there we go once we select halo then we can go under the shaders tab here and your halo size is going to be at point th uh, 132 where it says hard we're going to put that at 45 and let me zoom this out so you guys can see this better So halo size is at 0.32, hard is at 45, and then add, we're going to change that to 0.875. Then the last thing we need to do is we're going to add a new texture. So where it says map to, you're going to click on that tab, 
and we're going to map to col so you want that selected it should already be selected and then the color we're going to mix in a yellow color so we're going to move r to one if it's not already there green to one and then blue is going to be at 0.664 so we'll have a yellow color and once you have that set up you can go ahead and let's go to like frame 50 and you should start seeing your particle system let's try to animate this I'll go to frame 1 and animate it so you can see it there we go we can see the particles coming out of it now let's go to frame 50 and I wanna I may have to move this camera so y'all can see that. Let's try this. Okay, I'm going to hit the render. Alright, there we go. So as you can see, we have our rocket and we have our particles uh, that are red coming out of the engine. So that's what you want to achieve in part four. So once you have that, Make sure you save your work as always. Go to File, Save, click on your link. And thank you. You're done with Part 4.